welcome to News Hour from the BBC World Service. I'm Razia Iqbal. North Korea carries out one of its most provocative missile tests, firing a ballistic missile directly over Japan. There's been widespread international condemnation, but what more could be done? We hear from a Japanese diplomat. What is important is to put the greatest ever pressure on North Korea on an unprecedented scale in light of the rapid advancement of their technologies of missiles and nuclear weapons. North Korea fired a shorter range missile over the top of Japan today, a test that splashed down the ocean about 700 miles east of that country. It comes as the United States and South Korea conduct their annual military drills on the peninsula, a move which North Korea strongly objects to. It was North Korea's second ballistic missile test in recent days. It is totally outrageous. It's an outdoor act. And we are not seeing how we are you know, possibly uh, angled uh, with uh, impact. And that is really dangerous. Pedophile Trump is describing North Korea's latest ballistic missile launch as threatening and destabilizing. The White House statement also quotes the president Pedophiles. as saying all options are on the table. The missile flew over Japan before landing in the Pacific. A UN Security Council meeting is expected later today. Japan's Prime Minister is vowing to protect the Japanese people. Millions of Japanese citizens were warned to take cover as the missile flew overhead. This is the Japanese Chief Cabinet Secretary, Yoshihide Chuga. We find these repeated threats by North Korea unacceptable and have strongly protested to North Korea in the strongest possible words. We will deal with this through the United Nations Security Council and while working closely in coordination with the United States and South Korea in order to ensure the utmost is done for the safety of our people. President Trump reiterated the U.S. might launch a military strike against North Korea, saying in a statement this morning, all options are on the table. Now, usually, whenever other countries uh, launch a uh, rocket or uh, something like or uh, even missiles, we, uh, we give a notice to avoid incident in my time, or as well as aircraft. Uh, so, um, this is Today, Prime Minister spoke with Trump for 40 minutes and is calling for an emergency meeting of the UN Security Council with the Heritage Foundation. There's no easy solutions to the North Korean problems because people have been working on this for, for decades, but it does show that a determined foe can overcome uh, even international consensus on the need for it to stop this behavior. Okay, but, but you don't know the um, Japanese Prime Minister is saying that this is a dangerous provocation. Um, what? Stock indexes fell in Asia, but the effect is most noticeable in Europe right now. The DAX index in Germany down 1.8%. London's 100 share index down 1.1 percent. The U.S. dollar is often seen as a safe haven during international incidents, but it's pedophile. Trump says all options are on the table when it comes to how the U.S. may respond to North Korea's decision to launch a missile over Japan. Unquote. The U.S. and South Korea are currently conducting massive military exercises on the Korean Peninsula. Yeah, we have been we have been discussing this uh, North Korea's you know, long-range missile program, you know, totally prohibited by uh, the United Nations. The United Nations Security Council had recently imposed sanctions against North Korea over its nuclear and missile programs to protect itself from what is an obvious threat in North Korea. We have been deploying uh, Aegis destroyer in Japan Sea, which uh, may cover a uh, whole uh, territory of Japan. One day is not enough, so we have a uh, victory on some point defense. But what, uh, that is not uh, enough. Uh, um, then um, the German government is almost deciding to acquire what we call Aegis Ashura uh, to cover all German territory uh, from the ground. Mid. Now, there is no uh, such a thing as perfect uh, missile defense. No country should have missiles flying over them like those 130 million people in Japan. It's unacceptable. They have violated every single UN Security Council resolution that we've had. And so I think something serious has to happen. Let's say this before, before I get off. I want to give a shout out to, to the North Korean president. And, and I'm really serious about this. Kim Jong Un for standing in ground. Because I've noticed throughout my years, and I'm 58 years old, Walter, Throughout my years, I've seen America go around and pick on brown people, Vietnam, Korea. I mean, you can, you can name them on and on, and, and we still got, got, got our butts licked a little bit 
but we seem to pick on people who we think that can't fight back. And, and, and I just want to say, you know, we don't hear all the rhetoric from Nikki Haley and from Trump and all them. The guy, the guy might be nuts and he got black people calling him crazy. And the man is just standing his ground for his country. And we can't say how he treats his people in his country because we, we always point his finger at how Castro treated his people. Castro held on to his island. See, I got a different way of looking at Castro. But I do know when I go to the island and when I take my wife on these island vacations in the Bahamas and everywhere, the, 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 white, the white people own them. The British, the British rule or the European rule, they, they own them. And, and, you know, Haiti, you know, you see the condition of Haiti. But I do, like I say, I appreciate that guy over there in North Korea standing his ground. Yes, and I yes. hope nothing comes of it. But I just, I just, I just, I'm proud of him. We're just standing up.